flag sailed at half-mast across the city today as a mark of respect to those affected by the London bombings. Seven bombs exploded in London during the morning rush hour. The bombs brought the city's underground tube system to a halt, with bus services also suspended after an attack on a bus in Tavistock Square. For former Londoners living in Dunedin, it's been a tough 24 hours. It was a bit of a shock last night. Home suddenly seems a lot further away. Um, sort of saw the news, got the bulletin, and thought, oh, straight away. I know my mates are on the way to work. I know what stations they go from and the tube, and it was a bit of a shock, really. Parents of Kiwis currently living in the English capital were anxious to make contact with their children. Like hundreds of other uh, parents, friends, relations in, um, in Dunedin and New Zealand, I had a little twinge of, um, of anxiety about the whole thing, although I was reasonably confident that um, our son who was over there working in London would, would be safe. The bombings are believed to be the work of terrorists, with an Al-Qaeda cell group claiming responsibility. It appears the bombings were well planned, strategically disabling the tube system and knocking out London's central network in all directions. By having them all at the same time, they close off a massive chunk of London's transport system and taking the buses out as well. I mean, it's terrorism, it incites fear. And, well, Friday, which will hit England soon, it's going to be a scary time for my friends going to work and other commuters. A heavy volume of calls into London jammed phone lines. However, text messages were able to be sent after the international calling eased. Over a thousand people have been reported injured while the death toll continues to rise. Dunedin Mayor Peter Chin has sent a message to his London counterpart Ken Livingstone expressing sympathy on behalf of the city. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Tony Blair briefly returned home from the G8 Leaders Summit in Scotland, promising a full-scale investigation. However, back in New Zealand, some are calling for the incident to be put into perspective. It may be as an appropriate time to remember that in the 24 hours that have elapsed, nearly 24 hours that have elapsed since the, um, since the bombings, uh, nearly 50, 100 times as many people have died in Africa through hunger. And that's what the meeting in Edinburgh is all about, of course. Staff at New Zealand's High Commission in London have scoured Central City hospitals for Kiwi casualties. However, none have been reported at this stage. Dominic George, 9 Local News.